from noisy to quiet a little too fast. <laughs> it's like we have the audience on tape and the tape broke. No, we have an uh, incredible show tonight. We have... I can't get used to this camera being here. <laughs> um, we have... Be quiet. We have an incredible show tonight. An amazing show. Great guests are here. We've never done that before. And uh, we have great comedy. We're going to try that just tonight. I showered. I shaved. We're ready to go. Much to talk about here at the top of the show. President Bush, of course, keeping busy. I don't know if you know this, but yesterday, true story, President Bush toured parts of Missouri that were devastated by a recent tornado. Toured them, yeah. Yeah, there was one awkward moment when the president looked at the tornado damage and said, don't worry, we're going to get whoever did this. <laughs> a little strange. Huh? A, uh, a New York Times reporter, you might have read about this, a New York Times reporter who resigned after being accused of plagiarism may be paid as much as one million dollars to tell his story in a new book. <laughs> True story, yeah. Yeah, not surprisingly, the book will be called The Autobiography of Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> that was strange. This week, uh, the team psychologist for the Mets quit his job. Aww. Yeah, when asked about it, the psychologist said, some people should have low self-esteem. <laughs> well, I waited you out on that one. And people were like, I don't know. Well, all right. <laughs> Hey, this feels good. Um, I'm gonna start rubbing myself more. Thank you. Wow. Uh, according to a brand new study, people who are obese spend an average of $700 more per year on medical expenses. That's a lot of money. Yeah, not only that, they also spend $700 more a year on Velveeta. <laughs> because they're fat. <laughs> According to USA Today, and they're always right, any paper with a pie chart has to be right. According to USA Today, Las Vegas has become the favorite destination for women to have wild bachelorette parties. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when they heard this, Siegfried and Roy said, there goes the neighborhood. It's actually a quote. There goes the neighborhood. Because they're fat. <laughs> oh, wait, no. All right, well, anyway. You figure it out at home. I don't have time to figure it out. We got too much show tonight. You know our first guest tonight from his work on, I call the show Er, but you may know it as ER, one of the most popular shows of all time. Very popular actor. Anthony Edwards is on the show. We also have, uh, I love uh, this show, Malcolm in the Middle. It's a really funny show. Jane Kaczmarek is on the program. 
She's very funny. I'll bow to her. And then... Very funny comedian Tom Papa is on the show. That, we're going to submit this show to some, no we're not. Right over here, Jimmy Vivino. And I'm Max Weinberg from Jimmy. You can play ELO anytime you want. <laughs> you can't go wrong with ELO. All right, so much to talk about tonight. And tonight, we're, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, Jeff, we're tight tonight. We gotta cram a lot of show into a short t amount of time. All right, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> if we cut to him, it must be true. Um, no, no, uh, so much to talk about here. Uh, tomorrow, big, big night for late night television. Tomorrow. Uh, we are going to air an episode of Late Night that's entirely in clay animation. <laughs> Not kidding about this either. I've had some people say to me, you're kidding about this, right? Not kidding about it. From beginning to end for an entire hour, me, uh, everything, the, all the guests will all be in clay animation. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, a lot of meticulous hard work went into making this show, especially into building the set. We had to recreate this set and take a look at this right here. You can see this is the set for the Clay Animation Show. It spent a lot of time. There's uh, Jason Chalemi working very hard on the Conan O'Brien figure. As you can see, it's incredibly lifelike. It looks a lot like the real uh, Conan O'Brien. There's the band right there. And of course, uh, yeah, there's the, and there I am uh, looking over like a pervert. It's going to be amazing. The whole show, amazing. And now, unfortunately, I have to tell you about a serious incident, something that went down, as the kids say. Uh, we're not proud of it, but last night, after the show was over and everyone had gone home, two of our interns snuck into our clay animation studio and started messing around. Luckily, our security camera caught the whole thing and we fired them, but it was not pretty. Take a look at this footage. It's really sad that this would happen. There they are, and... Uh, <laughs> that's just my... They are never going to work in this town again. If you see interns made of clay, do not hire them. That's my advice to you. All right.